And I, I will show you two uh, different kind of methods. Uh, one's uh, deforming the object, and the other one is uh, tessellating the object to get uh, similar results like you can see right now. For the beginning, we start with a really simple uh, box um, with 40 by 40 by 40 centimeters. And this box should have no segments. And you can obviously deform this box uh, with uh, many different kind of modifiers. And um, I will just use one modifier, this is uh, FFD box. We can also do it actually with uh, Edit Poly or the simple thing like this. I just uh, go under control points and I can just uh, twist this thing. And uh, I will just twist it to 45, 45 degrees. And you can see that this whole thing is twisting, but you can also see that uh, 3D Studio automatically s uh, tries to smooth uh, my surfaces, which we uh, actually don't want. So what I can do is I can just add um, an Edit Poly modifier on top and change under modeling uh, properties uh, from uh, smooth to, um, to a hard geomet geometry. Okay, and if I go in my viewport settings from shaded to uh, realistic, I can already see uh, a little bit better. Uh, depends on the light situation that this thing is folded. And the next step is uh, in Edit Poly, you um, can, uh, for example, cut cut it from uh, uh, cut the surface. Uh, I go into my uh, um, grid, uh, grid snapping settings, uh, grid and snap settings, uh, choose vertex point and then I can cut it from here to here. So I really have uh, two different uh, polygons. Alternatively, I can also um, just add um, a modifier uh, called Edit Mesh. The difference between Edit Mesh and Edit Poly is that Edit, edit Mesh uh, uh, c uh, consists on uh, triangulated uh, faces, so I can just choose one of these faces, or probably these two, and uh, delete them. And then you can see um, that's the beginning of a really nice uh, folded structure, uh, a cube which I twisted and uh, opened on uh, one side, and if I then on top add a shell modifier like we already did in other tutorials, uh, then it already looks like a nice shape. I uh, switch on straighten corners and uh, then you can see that it exactly has uh, an amount of 1.5 uh, centimeters thickness uh, of this object. Uh, if you have really simple shapes and you want to go to a folded structure like this, you can definitely deform it with many other modifiers. It's just uh, the more complicated the basic object is, the more difficult it is to control. And I will show you one other method which is actually quite nice to get really fast, uh, uh, good looking uh, folded objects. But here again, it's difficult uh, to control this. You get really nice results. But if you really want to have full control about your geometry, then it's probably better to work with uh, 2D splines and uh, combined with cross section like I showed in my video before uh, with folding based on 2D lines. With this example, we start again with building a really simple uh, box. I go to uh, uh, length 40, the width now I choose uh, 160 and height 40 again, so it's a cube like this. And I already uh, adjusted the length segments and the width segments, so it's uh, a really basic uh, tessellation like this. And I will show you one method uh, to get um, uh, really nice uh, results in a fast amount of time using uh, tessellation and using uh, the topology, uh, uh, general topology tool of my graphite modeling tools in 3D Studio Max. Okay, we added um, added poly modifier and uh, when I Added a, add a poly modifier, I can uh, enter my uh, graphite modeling tools 
and uh, I have one nice setting and this is uh, generate topology uh, I go into this menu and by the way I copy my object uh, so we can play uh, a little bit uh, more afterwards uh, just produce a copy I go into my um, object and when I open this menu uh, generate topology under my graphite modeling tools you can see that I have different kind of preset topologies and you can just play a little bit with this you can also combine it I can for example use this uh, uh, topology uh, course and you can already see that it has an impact on my shape. You can also combine these. Uh, I go now into this uh, edge direction. And what you can see is, uh, again, that uh, the whole topology of my object changed. And I will again uh, change to uh, modeling um, hard, so the whole thing will not be smooth again. And uh, this is uh, actually a result. Uh, when I change it to shaded, you can see that it's a somehow quite nicely folded uh, object in a really fast way. And if you are a little bit familiar with this, you already have an, can already have an idea what comes out of this if you use these tools. Really important for this is the basic tessellation. So we just look at some other examples and change our uh, uh, basic uh, tessellation. For example, if I use this box, uh, I can go under uh, tessellation of my graphite modeling tools and for example go for tessellation like uh, this and if I just use the same topology like before again, again this uh, uh, cross tessellation and then uh, this uh, edge, direction, uh, edge direction tessellation you see that a completely different structure comes out of this. I change it again to hard and I can also do it like this that I uh, go to polygon. I can um, just select some polygons for example by random. I would say I just want to select uh, 